Welcome to my channel, Gender Swap Zone. Become a sissy part too. I had a wild night out recently, which was quite the change for me. You might remember that back in college, I had a crush on a girl named Eden. Being the quiet guy I am, I could never muster the courage to ask her out. She definitely noticed me glancing her way in class and knew I was interested, but I just couldn't make a move. In the end, Eden made the first move. One day she sat next to me in class, and her presence alone was enough to set my heart racing. She turned to me and asked if I'd like to go on a date with her. Nervously, I stammered out a yes. With a playful smile, she said I could take her out on the condition that I followed her every instruction. I had no clue what I was agreeing to, but soon enough, Eden transformed me. She turned me into a beautiful girl, and I started going to college with her dressed all in pink. The surprising part was I found myself enjoying it. Eden made me up so pretty and I loved wearing those girly clothes. I admired a wonderful girl and her friends at college adored me. They even wished their boyfriends were like brothers so they could dress them up and have them follow their lead. Honestly, I enjoyed how Eden took charge and gave me directions. Constantly having to make decisions wore me out, but Eden had a plan to change that. She convinced the girls at college to go on a girly night out, and she promised to dress me up to join them. I couldn't wait for the evening. The next morning, as I stared at my dull boyish wardrobe, I made a decision. I would never wear those clothes again. I wanted to be a girl forever. I drew a bath and meticulously removed every hair from my body, determined to look stunning for the girls' night out. My skin felt incredibly smooth and silky afterward. Feeling fantastic, I applied a wonderfully scented lotion all over, savoring the luxurious sensation. I smelled so feminine that I couldn't resist putting on the underwear and dress from the previous day. I paraded around my small flat, arranging flowers and packing away my boy clothes into black bags. Soon the doorbell rang, and there was Eden. Hi, Oliver, she said with a smile. You smell lovely, and I see you're still in yesterday's outfit. I couldn't find my voice, only managing a nod as her presence and voice left me mesmerized. She glanced around my small apartment and said, So, this is your cozy flat? It's lovely, so clean and tidy. You're real, aren't you? I bet you can cook, sew, and knit too. The truth was, I could. I can't keep calling you Oliver, dear. It just doesn't feel right. How about we change your name to Edline? I think it's a good fit. What do you think, Edeline? I'm not in agreement as Eden continues chatting. I've brought some clothes and accessories to make you stunning for tonight, dear. Let's get started on your makeup. The girls are going to adore you. She seats me in front of the mirror and begins to work on my face. Watch closely, Edeline, she instructs. Soon you'll be able to do this on your own. She hands me a makeup bag saying, you can keep this to practice with. She gently removes the remnants of my old makeup, then begins the transformation. A smooth layer of foundation and a touch of blusher brighten my complexion. She skillfully pencils in my eyebrows, adds a sweep of eyeshadow, and perfects the look with eyeliner and mascara on the false lashes. Let's go with a darker pink lip gloss today, Edeline, she suggests, to match your new dress. I'm looking fantastic, and then she places a blonde wave on me, styling it perfectly. Wow, I love my new look, I say thrilled. Let's get you out of those dirty clothes and into something nice, Edeline, she says. She unzips my dress, letting it fall to the floor, then unclips my bra and gently pulls down my panties. Wow, you're a bit larger than I thought, Edeline remarks as she hands me a dark pink satin thong. I squeeze into it, barely managing to tuck everything in. Next, she gives me a matching dark pink satin bra and I slide in the breast fillers. When I touch them, they feel remarkably like real breasts. She hands me a pair of sheer nylon tights adorned with tiny silvery specks. These will keep you in place, she says. As I carefully pull them on, they feel wonderful against my shaved legs, securing everything just right. You have a beautiful figure, Edeline. Most girls would love to have your delicate waist and broad hips, she adds admiringly. I hadn't really noticed before, but I did have quite a feminine figure. If only I had real breasts to complete the look. I brought this lovely tight dress to show off your shape, she said, holding up a stunning dark pink dress with long sleeves. I slipped it on, and Eden zipped it up for me. She was right. The dress fit my every curve perfectly. I felt like a knockout. I paired it with dark pink heels so high that I was practically on my toes.
I had barely spoken since Eden arrived, but I didn't need to. She talked enough for both of us, and I was happy to follow her lead. She handed me a beautiful dark pink purse that matched my dress. I filled it with my phone, lip gloss, tissues, comb, bank card, and a spare pair of panties, just in case. Soon, we were on our way, arms linked as we caught a taxi into town. The taxi driver couldn't resist sneaking glances in his rearview mirror at us. I found myself constantly tugging at my dress, which seemed determined to ride up and reveal my panties. I definitely didn't want any distractions causing a taxi crash. Before long, he dropped us off outside a sleek, modern bar where we were meeting our friends. We met up with the girls and settled in, ordering cocktails. Eden insisted they start calling me Edline from now on. They all admired my dress, and one of them complimented my figure, saying she wished she had curves like mine. I blushed and nodded in response. While the girls chatted animatedly, I remained demure, quietly listening to their conversation. One of them remarked, You don't say much, Edeline. Eden quickly interjected, Oh, she's just naturally quiet, aren't you, dear? I excused myself to the restroom, and one of the girls offered to accompany me, because that's what girls do. In the ladies' room, I was struck by its elegance and the faint scent of perfume, a stark contrast to the utilitarian atmosphere of the men's room. She beckoned me into a secluded cubicle, an invitation impossible to resist. With a mischievous smile, she lifted her dress and gracefully lowered her panties. I stood silently, transfixed, as she proceeded. Then, it was my turn. My dress hugged me snugly, and I rolled it up to my waist, sliding down my tights and letting my panties fall to my knees. Her gaze lingered on me as I settled onto the toilet seat. Eden's observation caught me off guard, leaving me blushing furiously. After hastily readjusting my attire, pulling up my panties and tights, smoothing down my dress, we joined her at the mirror to freshen up our lipstick. As we returned to the group of girls, Eden animatedly recounted her revelation about my size. Eden, you're so lucky to have found someone like that, one of the girls exclaimed. Eden glanced at me, tuzzled her hair playfully, and flashed a mischievous grin. Yes, I think I am, she replied with a hint of satisfaction. As the evening progressed with cocktails and a few shots, our spirits lifted. Let's go dancing, they suggested enthusiastically. Inside the pulsing club, we lost ourselves in hours of dancing bliss. The atmosphere was electric, and I even caught the eye of a few boys who asked me to dance. Eden swiftly intervened, declaring me her girlfriend, which seemed to deter them. As the night wore on past 3 a.m., we finally hailed the taxi back to my cramped apartment. That night, Eden decided to stay over, and it turned into a memorable evening. Before long, she practically moved in with me. We spent days shopping for girly clothes in every shade of pink imaginable. Naturally, my bed linens were switched to various hues of pink, adorned with matching cushions, transforming our living space into a cozy and feminine haven. The decorator swiftly descended upon our cozy flat, saturating every corner with shades of pink. Entranced by this newfound pink paradise, I reveled in the vision crafted by Eden, my assertive partner. She effortlessly dictated my wardrobe choices and the evolving styles of my lengthening hair, while I dutifully assumed the roles of chef, caretaker, and launderer, ensuring our home remained a sanctuary of her design. I cherished every moment, especially our wedding day when we both adorned ourselves in pink wedding dresses, a dream fulfilled for me. It was undoubtedly the pinnacle of happiness in my life. When Eden became pregnant, we envisioned dressing a little girl in pink, but to our surprise, a boy entered our lives. Undeterred by gender norms, he delights in his dolls and looks charming in his tiny dresses, much like his father. Our home embraces the notion that pink isn't confined to one gender, it's a color that signifies love and individuality for all. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found the content valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.